What is going on guys? Alex here with AB Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a long time. Hopefully you guys are seeing this on Monday. So hopefully it's bang on a week until my last upload. Um, if it's not on Monday, I really apologize. I've been teaching via lifeguard qualification and I have been like literally doing non-stop paperwork the entire time. Uh, I love it, like it's, it's, it's lots of fun, like you know, teaching it and all that kind of stuff, but it's just very tiring when it comes to paperwork and that kind of stuff, and actually like I've got a guy who, um, he's not that good of a swimmer, so I need to get him up to a point where he will be able to swim towing someone without an issue, which, uh, which might be a little bit tough, but I reckon I might get him to it. Uh, I have to get him to it because the last thing I want right now is someone to fail my first class. Like that's that's something that I'm not I'm not I don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna do that. Um. So just to say something very quick, I have now got myself a um, a drone. I've got myself the DJI Spark, which means that hopefully you guys in this video. Later on down the line, you'll be seeing some of that footage. Uh, me and Suna went up to uh, Winchester. We went up to the cathedral. We went up to, you know, pretty much everywhere up there. And we tried to get some drone footage before we got told to bring it down because apparently we weren't allowed to. Um, they didn't give me a good enough reason, but I just didn't want to get myself in trouble. So I just said, okay, that's fine. But I, I'm like, if I'm to go up the next time, I'm going to want a better reason that than what they gave me. They told me that there was birds up at the top of the cathedral, um, which from the footage you guys will notice that I can't actually see any birds other than the ones that are flying around. So anyway, whatever, I just I didn't want to get myself in trouble. It was my first day having the drone. Obviously I know the fact they're starting to be rules and regulations around them. Um, so I didn't really want to get myself into trouble straight away and lose it. So the drone, the Spark. Uh, I got the DJI Spark. Uh, I like it. Okay, I do. I really do. I think it's a great drone. Um, it's about what? It cost me £500. So that in euros would be about, what, 600, 700 euros. Dollars, I've got no clue, it'd probably be around similar, so like 599, maybe 600 bucks. Um, so I played around with it at home, and I actually I broke the propeller one of the propellers within about two minutes of me first trying it out, even though it says that it's going to be going up to an altitude of uh, 1.2 meters. Mine kept going up and it hit the ceiling and when I went to grab it, I grabbed it underneath, but my finger slipped and it hit the propeller and the propeller just snapped. Um, it kind of hurt my finger, but it didn't like break skin or anything like that. It was just the fact that it's, it just kind of like gave me almost like a friction burn styled um, pain. But anyway, so we had to go up to Winchester so I could get myself a couple of extra propellers. Um, so when we were up there, I thought I might as well fly it and see what, what it's like. And um, it's, it's a really good piece of kit. Like, if you're going on holiday especially, like I'm going on a holiday to Malia, right? You guys know this, I've, I've spoken about it a couple of times. And, you know, it's, it, it's perfect for travelers, it's perfect for people who want to do something small without being like without having to go blast off like fight like a thousand pounds on a drone so obviously it does not have the same quality as the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air and you can't shoot 4k on it but you don't need to like you get um, you get 1080p at 60 frames a second like I'm I'm perfectly fine with that it's a 12 megapixel camera so it's not the best but the fact is, I can take videos at 1080p at 60 frames a second that it's going to match my camera. I think it's 60 frames a second. It might be 30, it might be 60, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember. But, 
I honestly believe that it's a really good piece of kit to have just because you can do so much with it. Like the gesture controls are incredible. They picked up my hand pretty much instantly. Uh, and it's like, you know, go further back, go further forward. I think some of the gestures I had wrong, um, but the fact is it's really responsive and I definitely recommend it as a first drone, like 100%. But anyway, that's enough from me. Let's show you guys what I'm on about. So you guys thought I'd be showing you the drone footage. Well, you were wrong, you got fooled. I'm actually gonna be showing you what I got the other day really quick before we dive into the drone footage, just because this, I believe, is a very important point to make and not enough people, not enough people advise you to do this. So I'm gonna be one of the only one of those crazy bastards that do this. So, in there, I bought my scuba equipment the other day. Now, people tend to say not to spend your money to save it up, all that kind of stuff, purely because of later on in life. Personally, I believe that you should spend your money on what the hell you want. Uh, that's why whenever my mum says, like she told me not to go buy a drone, I went and bought a drone. Um, because it's something that I like doing, you know, photography and videography is like one of my, one of my passions, something that I really enjoy doing. Scuba diving is also one of them. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and what pretty much emptied my uh, my account. <sighs> so, after taking like five minutes to unpack this, my hair is looking horrible, I apologize, as per usual. So, after taking this long time pack, this I've taken everything out. You've got this little bag here, a scuba pro bag. Or... <laughs> like, I think it was meant to be 33 pounds, but they gave it to us for free because we bought everything. So it's got the Cressy um, gauge, so where you see your air and the depth. I don't really need the depth, I just got it because it came in the bundle. I uh, got the Scuba Pro um, S360, and then we've also got the equivalent to here. So that is the R, R095, so R095 is the Octopus, and S360 is the main regulator for myself. Second off, we've got the Aqualung Pro HD. I really love this. Like, ever since I've laid my eyes on it, I've always wanted it for a few reasons. So number one's got what I really love, which is the integrated weight system. So all you need to do is just... Actually do it one-handed. Being plastic. So, just try and put you guys... So all you need to do is just pull on this, as I'm gonna demonstrate in a second, and the weights come out. And to put them back in, all you need to do is just slot them back in here until they make a clicking noise, like so. So, that was one of the reasons why I really like this BCD. Second reason was the fact that it's got slots like right here for you to put in your octopus or your gauge which I really, really, really like. So this here is dedicated for octopus, so that there is either for gauge or octopus, which I really liked. Third thing we've got is some diving gloves. Um, very important, obviously, you don't want to be um, cutting your hands on anything. I've got a little bag there to put my wet stuff. This is the W30 waterproof um, wetsuit. Uh, I've, I've loved it, I've loved the colors. I'll put a picture up around there, like right now. And you guys get to see what it looks like. Second to last, we've got, uh, sorry, third to last, we've got the Cressy Frog Plus um, fins. They cost me about 70 something pounds. And then we've got the bag, which costs quite a bit, as it's just a bag. That thing cost about 100 pounds on its own. So we've got 100, 200, um, 400. 
900 and then these bits and bobs all added up to an extra 100 or so. So this entire set cost me about £1,064. Now you'll notice that I did not touch that little thing. That is because it is a knife. Um, so in my opinion, you should never ever go into the water without a knife. Um, purely because nowadays you've got so many things such as uh, fishing lines, you've got other different things. So this knife, in my opinion, is probably one of the best. I think it's the Tusa Expert 2. Um, honestly, I, I really, I've, re I've wanted this for quite a while. It was 50 pounds, I think. And you got two parts of it. You got one, two. So first time you pull it out, there's this little, I don't know if you guys can see. I let it focus. So as you can see, if it tries to get out on its own, it can't. You have to push it forward and then it comes out like so. So as you can see, it's got an edged blade there. Turn it over so you guys can see it better. It's got an edged blade there, a sharp blade here, line cutter there, which is very important, and glass breaker just, I don't know why they've got it there, it's maybe just in case. However, the best part is that it's blunt on the end, so you can't accidentally stab yourself or anything of the sort. So if I was to put that against me and push, nothing's happening. I just think it's a really good thing to have. Um, as I said, it's, it's specifically made it's specifically made for diving. You can't really use it for anything else other than that. Uh, it's got a strap, so you can always just wrap it around your thigh here, or sorry, no, around your calf, and then pop that through, and then that's staying there. You can't see. There you go. And then from there, all you need to do, press on the button, pull it out, and then you're ready to go. Slide it back in, and that's that. So, as I said, I really like this knife because it's just like, it's blunt, there's no sharpness to it, there's no chance of you injuring yourself or anyone else unless you, like, accidentally cut yourself. Um, and, you know, all of this piece of kit, it cost me quite a bit, but when you're scuba diving, this is one thing that I'm going to say, and I, if you want to scuba dive, I really suggest you open your ears and listen up. Never, ever settle for equipment which is cheap. Okay, with scuba, you get what you pay for. If you pay for cheap shit, you're going to get cheap shit that might leave you at the bottom of the sea, stranded, completely screwed. I spent £500 on my regulators, like, yep, granted that's not what world-class divers do, but I'm not a world-class diver. I'm a 19-year-old guy. Who enjoys diving, loves doing it whenever he goes on holiday, and I just think it's a great sport. Expensive, but great. So this is my kit, other than the few extra bits and bobs I've got up in my room, which include my diving computer, which is a Sunto Viper, and my um, mask, which I believe is a Tusa, or a Cressy, one of the two. Now, let's jump into the footage of the drone. Oh 